Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with the channel messages reading from your person for all of my Scorpios who are watching. So if you have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Scorpio, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get into your reading, Scorpio, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Alright, Scorpio, so with that being said, let's go ahead and start your reading. First, what we'll do is pull some of my channeled specific messages to see what is coming towards you from this person or who is coming towards you or the energy you're dealing with currently but let's see what we have going on for my scorpios please what energy do we need to need to know about for scorpio when it comes to love okay we have the first card let's get another card for scorpio please okay so this card came or actually two cards came out then let's see what we have here we'll only take one of these cards okay we'll take this card but we also have i want love but i'm not rushing it that could resonate as well scorpio and i talk to everyone about you so we have four cards let's get two more messages to get to get started for scorpio what else do we need to know here about this energy so far okay Scorpio let's read this as an extra message as well I wish you talked to me there's a lot I have to say all right Scorpio so before I do go ahead and get into your reading please keep in mind any energy feelings emotions actions that I'm describing from your person that could be how you feel the roles could be reversed just however this reading resonate resonates for you and also not everything will or has to resonate out of this reading but let's get into it we have I fall asleep thinking about you first card that came out it feels like we lost what we once had it's good to stay away. I don't want to mess this up. I can't make you see what I see. My, my love for you will never expire. My love for you will never expire. And then we also have heart overhead. So let me just go ahead and reposition my tripod. Hopefully you all can see the cards a bit better, but I feel like you're dealing with the person Scorpio and the energy overall. It feels like we lost what we once had. That's like the setting, the tone of this connection as of now. Um, I feel like this person backed away from this connection. It's like they self-sabotaged it or they're sabotaging it. You may know the exact, the specific reason, but I feel like this person, it comes off as if they're not trying, like... They're not putting their best foot forward. They're, it's like they're, they're not doing what they could be doing. And that could even be the simplest things, the simplest gestures. That extra message I read out, I, I want love, but I'm not rushing it. That could be your energy as well, Scorpio. You don't want to commit too soon or you're not in so much of a rush. But if we're getting to know one another, if we're expressing and confessing feelings for each other then let's keep it consistent let let's keep it constant let's not back away from one another when something worries us individually or when something 
is bringing you down like don't just distance yourself when it when it's not my fault or at least communicate I, I feel like that's what you're asking for from this person or what you would want but this distance I have a card in one of my decks it it says this distance will only make us grow farther apart or something like that I I feel like that is how you feel the this person stepping away that only makes you step away from them in this connection and detach so like I said in the beginning it's like this person has a tendency to self-sabotage or they are self-sabotaging this connection we have I fall asleep thinking about you this could be a mutual shared energy for you Scorpio thinking about what could be what could have been but for this person I feel like they're in their head here they're in their head about this connection that seven of cups energy fantasizing but not making any active movements gestures gestures in this connection this heart overhead this might be a, tur a turning point excuse me a turning point for this connection perhaps this person will start leading with their heart but from the jump i feel like you've put your heart in this you haven't been in your head because you're sure about this person there's if anything there was nothing to make you question them up until this moment like why why the distance why the tension here when they're when there's not a reason for it to be and I feel like you Scorpio you're understanding so nothing is too hard on like you'd rather hear the worst than to just be left in silence we have it's good to stay away I don't want to mess this up so maybe this person feels like there is something with them or in their life or that they're facing individually that once they get closer to you Scorpio this will just end in a way that they don't want it to end. There could be a fear of rejection as well. And there could be a grander reason to why this person is staying away because they feel like they'll lead you into uh, on a path. They'll lead you on a path that is not good for you. But of course, Scorpio, that's up to you to decide for yourself. They could be overthinking it in general. We also have, I can't make you see what I see, your energy Scorpio. Just like that saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. Like you can only do so much. And also for yourself, this is maybe your limit here. Like I can't plead to you or convince you. I shouldn't even have to convince or persuade you that my love for you is real. Like we have something good going here. You should be able to see it for yourself. And my love for you will, like, will never expire. I feel like this is what you carry, Scorpio. Once you love a person, once they hold a special place in your heart, they have you for the lifetime. So it's like, even if you are going through something tough, trust me, like, I'll be there for you. So it's like this person threw away this connection prematurely or without sorting out their options with you. What else do we need to know here for my Scorpios? Two cards came out. Let's keep this one. But as an extra message, I have been through a lot. Therefore, I am protective of my energy. I feel like this is you, Scorpio. Could be this person's energy as well in the sense. Um, if there is something like trauma holding them back, they feel like this is becoming too real. Like their emotions are involved. So it's good to stay away. So I don't have the opportunity or chance to get hurt let's just get one more message for Scorpio please okay Scorpio so yeah I feel like you think or feel as though this person is wasting your time if anything I feel like they cannot doubt the person that you've shown themselves or if anything I feel like they can't doubt the person that you've shown yourself to be towards them we have heart of gold this is your energy scorpio um how they view you being a solid person in their life and you may know this scorpio you may know how full of love your heart is and that's another reason to why you're not about to just wait around you're mirroring energy here but we have i miss the idea of you heart of gold different shouldn't lead to doubt 
and do I have a chance with you or are you prioritizing your options? So different shouldn't lead to doubt. Of course, we're not going to be 100% the same. We're going to come from different experiences, different backgrounds, um, different traumas, but that doesn't mean even if I can't um, there's this saying that I resonate with, like, just because I can't relate to you on a personal level doesn't mean I can't understand or I'm not willing to understand here. So if you're battling something that you feel is all on you and the reason why you're not coming forward here is because of my reaction, don't, like, you would hope that this person doesn't view it like that because you... You might be accepting towards whatever they put in your face. So that's also why communication comes in here because I feel like this person has maybe kept quiet. Do I have a chance with you or are you prioritizing your options, your energy, Scorpio? This person, it's like they've been at a distance or MIA. You don't know what they're up to. And I miss the idea of you. Your energy, Scorpio, I feel like this connection has become a bit unrealistic or it doesn't seem as promising as it once did okay let's see what situations oracle cards we have pertaining to your connection scorpio let's reshuffle we do have irreconcilable differences, divorce final. So with that difference shouldn't lead to doubt. Maybe there was some differences that did lead to an ending here. This could also just be you parting ways with this person because it's not working out here. How they handled this situation is not how you would. Let's see what else we have going on, please. Done. Completion lesson learned, so. Yeah, you walking away from this, Scorpio. Let's get one more card, please. Today, present now in the moment, maybe you're you're not trying to focus on anything in the past. You're done, you've moved forward. We're just gonna pull one more card actually for Scorpio. Something significant may have happened today as well. Last card, Verge, about to reveal, confess. So it's like this ending happened. You did all that you could do, Scorpio. You're done. You're focusing on today, the present moment, now being in the moment. <laughs> but then something could have happened today or recently to where this person confessed something to you. So you might be at a crossroads here. Should I bring the past? back or should I just keep it moving let's see what sign you might be dealing with Scorpio we have Gemini Libra so some air energy and Sagittarius all right Scorpio I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that for today as always I appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time bye